This is second grade Go Math Lesson 5.1, and today we're going to do algebra breaking apart ones to, to subtract. It says break apart ones to subtract, write the difference. So at the top here we have a number line, which I'm going to show you something on, and we also have our number sentences right here. So try to wait to there we go. There we got some focus. So again, like we did in chapter, I believe it was chapter three. Um, we looked for the ones in the larger number that we're subtracting from, and we have six ones here and seven ones here. So I'm going to cross out this six and put a six here, because I'm taking away six from seven. I have one left. So six plus one makes seven. I know that's right. So I just like to cross that one out and cross this one out, because I'm not going to use them anymore. I'm also going to cross out the seven, because I'm not going to use that anymore. So now that I subtract the six from 36, I'm going to have 30. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this. I have 30 right there. Then I could subtract 1. And now that's a much easier problem than 36 minus 7. 30 minus 1, if we go 1 back, boom, is 29. Now I'm going to show you another way to use the number line here. Um, and this is actually how the book teaches it. I just like to stay consistent. So this is the way I prefer to do it, and I teach them, teach that way, but I also show the number line as well. So um, I broke up this, the 7 into 6 and 1. And so if we take, if we start at 36 on the number line, and let's say I move 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I know I need to move one more, one. So that answer is 29 right there. Did we see that? Okay. I'll show you another one here where we have 37 minus 9. Actually, you know, let's do a problem that's a little bit different looking. That's not in the 30s. I have a lot of 30s and 40s here. Huh, interesting. So anyways, um, let's try this one, number 5. 44 minus 5. So again, I'm looking at the ones here. I have four ones. So I'm going to take four ones out of the five. So there I go. Cross out this four. I'm going to cross out this four. And then I have one left over. Four plus one makes five. So remember, these num two numbers should add up to equal the same number we're coming from. So, and I know I'm kind of writing all over the paper and everything like that, but you just got to use the space that you have. I have 40 minus, oops, I forgot to cross out the five, 40 minus one because I have one left over. I already took away four from the five and four from this side, so it's equal still. So 40 minus one, again, much easier than 44 minus five. So that answer is going to be 39. Now if I look up here and do it using the number line, I would go up here and find 44. I broke it up by using four and one, so I'm gonna go back four. One, two, three, four and one more and there I go my answer again is 39